Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial in this Telegram bot series in Ubuntu. So in this tutorial, we're going to make sure that our setup is correct. We're going to test it. We're going to test our Flask server. So I'm using VS Code and this is my workspace. I'm going to create a new file right here, which I'm going to call server.py. Now we need to import our packages. So from Flask, import Flask. And then I'm going to create a variable to store uh, my port number. So port is equal to 8080, for example. And then we're going to create a new instance of the Flask server. So app is equal to Flask underscore underscore name underscore underscore. Then we're going to check if we are opening our app from the uh, the main file. So if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equal equal to underscore underscore main underscore underscore then what we're gonna do is actually start our server so app dot run then we're gonna give it our IP address so or the host name so we want it to accept any host name so I'm gonna give it 0, .0, 0, .0, 0, 0 and then we're gonna give it the port which is gonna be equal to our port variable defined right here okay so now we started our server but we need to define the routes so we're going to define the entry point which is going to be slash so we're going to type this decorator right here at app dot route then we give it our route which is basically slash and then we're going to give it our methods so these methods are the post uh where we get methods the methods basically that this uh, route accepts so we're going to accept both post and get so I'm gonna type in here a list of get and post right okay so now we're done with our decorator let's define our method so we're gonna type diff main I'm gonna give it asterisk args and asterisk asterisk keyword args right here it's gonna be simple it's gonna only return welcome to our server for example so return welcome to our server and it can return any HTML to the user once they navigate to this route so what we're gonna do now is actually run the server so I'm gonna open the terminal right here and we need to activate first our new flask environment so kunda activate flask and then we're gonna type Python and then our file name so server the pi okay so now our server is running at port 8080 so we need to navigate to this route right here so I'm gonna type in here local host and then 8080 okay welcome to our server so it's working and right here we can see the get request uh, that we've just made so that's it guys and we are ready to proceed with our tutorials so catch you in the next one